paper 2, 2014 mathematics, we are told in the figure below, OS is the radius of the circle, center O, uh, so called SQ, and TU are extended to meet at P, and OR is perpendicular to QS uh, at R. OS is equals to 61, PU is equals to 50, uh, UT is equals to 40 centimeter, and PQ is equals to 30 centimeter. So we have our figure here. Uh, so part A, calculate the length of QS. Where is QS? QS is from there uh, to here. Uh, so how do we get the length of QS? In form 3, you learn th this property that if you multiply uh, PS multiply by uh, QS is the same as uh, PT multiply by PU. Uh, that is to say, if we call, uh, so, so if we write uh, uh, QS is equals to X, or X is equals to QS, we can write it like that. We can say, this is part A, Roman number 1, uh, we can say 50 uh, plus 40. Okay, that is uh, uh, PU plus P UT, that th so that you get PT. Uh, you multiply by 50, that is you multiply by uh, PU, which is 50, should be equals to uh, 30 multiplied by 30 plus X. So that's a property we learned in codes, circles and codes. Uh, so you will be able to get this is equals to, use your calculator that is uh, 90 multiplied by 50, that will give you uh, 4,500. And this is equals to, you open the bracket, there you get 900, uh, 900 uh, plus 30x. Uh, so you can say 30x is equals to, uh, when you add, you take uh, 900 to the left hand side, you get that 3600. So it, you divide both sides by 30, you get x is equals to 120 centimeter. So that is how you get that. Uh, Roman number 2, uh, we can say it is, uh, uh, we, we are supposed to find the length of OR. Okay, OR is this here. Uh, and how do you get OR? Uh, you, are, you use a property. Since we are told OR is, uh, OR is perpendicular uh, to QS. And OR passes through the center of the circle. So we know the property that uh, a perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through uh, the center of the circle. Or a line passing from the center of the circle perpendicular to the chord divide the chord into two. Since now we have found this is 120, uh, that is, uh, we have said uh, o x is equals 120, it means that uh, uh, we, can, we divide 120, you divide by 2 is equals to 60. So that means that this side here is 60 and this side here is 60. So you, because it is a right angle triangle, can use the Pythagoras theorem. So you say OR is equals to the square root of uh, 61 now, 61 squared, which is the hypotenuse, minus 60 squared. Use your calculator, you will be able to get it is 11 centimeter. So that's how you uh, work out that. From there, uh, we go to part B of this question. Uh, so let me write here part B. You are required to calculate correct to two decimal places uh, the size of angle ROS. Where is that angle? ROS, this angle. So we already have the, the, the size of that tri uh, triangle ORS. Uh, so you can use the three ratios and say, uh, sine theta, uh, so we call it theta, we can say it is opposite, uh, opposite is uh, 60 over hypotenuse which is 61. So you can use your calculator and say sine inverse of 61, uh, 60. 
60 divided by 61 uh, you can put the bracket here and using your calculator you press uh, 60 divided by 61 you get the decimal you press inverse sign and you press sign uh, you'll be able to get uh, depending on the calculator that you are using uh, you should be able to uh, remember you are taught how to use a calculator in form 3 which you should be efficient because it will help you save time so you get 79.6 degrees so that is the angle uh, that is angle uh, ROS finally we have uh, part uh, Roman number 2 of part B uh, we have uh, we are required to the length of the mirror arc uh, QS so the mirror arc is a minor arc not the mirror this is a min minor arc uh, so how do we get the uh, arc length arc length is equals to we say it is theta over 360 uh, multiplied by uh, 2 pi r so that is the formula that we use now the angle that we are going to use uh, maybe the, uh, it is uh, we can call it theta 2 is the whole of this angle so we need to multiply uh, theta 2 we need is equals to uh, 76.79 not 76 uh, 79 uh, that is 79.6 uh, you multiply by 2 that will give you the angle 159.2 uh, uh, degrees these are degrees so we can get the arc length uh, arc length is equals to 159.2 you divide by 360 degrees uh, you uh, then you multiply by 2 multiply by 22 over 7 always remember unless it is specified uh, always use 22 point 22 over 7 as a pi and you can compute using this uh, comp your calculator you get it is 169.5 uh, uh, centimeter so that is a correct answer that is a correct answer let's see how the marks are distributed in terms of max distribution uh, you get uh, you get a method mark there so that is one mark you also get a method uh, answer mark there so you get uh, two marks as is required there uh, you will be able to get uh, another mark here for getting 60 that is a method uh, bonus uh, we call it bonus point and you get this is one mark so there you get another two mark uh, you come to part B uh, you will be able to get uh, oh okay, here you also get a method mark one mark uh, you come to part B part B you will be able to get a method mark there and you get answer mark there you get one uh, then in, in part, uh, part, uh, part Roman number 2, you get the method mark here for getting that angle. Another method mark here for applying that, uh, the method of finding the length arc and one mark for the answer. So the total of that add up to 10 marks. So that's how the marks are distributed.